How's it going everyone? I am Walt the Film Hermit and I have ordered a new shelf to go here in the studio. It's going to have, it's going to start with Marvel movies, but with the size of it, I should be able to put a couple other franchises on it as well. But I'm going to start putting Marvel movies in celebration of the summer movie season of 2024. It is July. We are finally going to be getting Deadpool and Wolverine this month. Really, really excited about it. I have been doing some rewatches on some Marvel movies this month. So as I'm going to be building the shelf and watching the Marvel movies, we're going to put some uh, quick reviews on the channel of how I feel about each film and go over the physical copies I have for it. And then they'll be on display for the channel going forward. Um, I actually started a new Letterboxd account. If you guys want to join that Letterboxd account, that'd be fantastic. I have decided that I'm going to post reviews for these films on these videos and actually put them in writing on the Letterboxd account that I have. And you guys can join and put in your comments about how you feel with the film, about the Marvel films in general, which ones are your favorite. Let's go from there. So quickly, uh, I'm going to show you the copies that I have on physical media for Iron Man. Uh, this is the steel book that I have for the first Iron Man. Iron Man came out in 2008, and when it comes to physical media collections, there was another physical copy that came out. There was a slip cover uh, that I don't have in my collection anymore, which I really thought that was really cool, but I wanted steel books at the time, and they weren't doing steel books through Best Buy for Marvel. Actually, the first Best Buy steel book they did was, they did like a metal type case for the first Avengers, but then they did a uh, actual steel book for Thor The Dark World. I know the one that everyone hates. I don't hate it, but people love to hate on The Dark World. That was actually the first Best Buy official Marvel steel book that they did. So this one, I got it from eBay and ported it overseas. Uh, I'm gonna do like a, a close-up unboxing of the Iron Man editions that I have. And please leave in the comments and let me know like what copies of Iron Man that you have, which one's your favorite, because they did a lot of them. So this is my steel book for the first Iron Man film. I saw this on eBay, I couldn't resist it. It's got complete embossing, debossing with the title and Iron Man. And I'm gonna do this quickly. I might have an unboxing of this already on the channel, but I don't remember, but here we go. You open it up and you get the full Iron Man face. This is probably one of my favorite Marvel steel books that I have. And then it's, it's fitting that it's the original Iron Man. Let's take a quick look on the inside. So I put my Blu-ray edition inside of here. This is disc one of the Blu-ray disc and disc two is the bonus features. Let me pop it out of here so you can get a good look at the inside. And that's the inside of the steelbook. So this is my Blu-ray steelbook. And then eventually went ahead and I got my hands on the 4K steelbook, which has the uh, original poster on the front with all the main actors in it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. It's got an image of the arc reactor on the back. Our spine there. Let's look at our spine. There's still a code in here. Let me take it out. I know it's been used already, but I don't want to waste anyone's time. So we got our 4K disc in here. And we got our Blu-ray disc, but this time our Blu-ray disc has artwork on it. All of the Best Buy 4K Steelbooks added art to the 4K disc. They were all usually either blue Disney discs or Paramount discs in the past. So there we go. Really like that image of Robert Downey Jr. So that's a good Steelbook. Now the other edition that I have for Iron Man is when these Steelbooks came out, they did new slip covers for the 4Ks. And I'll set that aside here. And I ended up not double dipping on a 4K, but I think later I came across a Blu-ray slipcover and I really liked the artwork for it. And if I remember correctly, it was kind of cheap. So I got it. It's got some embossing on the slipcover. These sell on eBay for a lot of money now. So I'm glad I was able to pick one up. But um, I love the art on here. I love how they're kind of trying to make this consistent when it comes to the slipcovers going forward. Like, even though some of the newer Marvel movies don't have this artwork. They're making the artwork at a later date to use for streaming. So when you go to your streaming, they all have a uh, consistent artwork. So that's the back of the slip cover. There's no reason to really open this one up, but let me know what you have in your collection. Did you have the original slip cover for the film? Do you have this slip cover or any of the other editions? Does anyone else have this particular steel book? Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, I have this huge 
Marvel Studios booklet that I have not even opened yet. I'm gonna put this on display on the shelf to go with my Marvel movies. I don't think I have any uh, Marvel figures or pops. I have I have like four or five pops in my my entire collection. I think that'd be a good way to kind of display the movies as well, have a couple of pops on there. But this booklet, if there's space on the shelf, <laughs> is gonna be on display. Um, I have not opened this yet, so it talks about the making of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it'd be kind of cool to kind of get some more insight and uh, what went into the production of all these films. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel so much. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.